Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. I've got some pretty awesome free tweaks for you today. I'm going to start doing these every week. Let me know what day you would like me to put them up in the comments and I'll try to do that. I was thinking about maybe doing Fun Friday, Free Friday, something like that. Uh, so let's get started. The first one we're going to be doing is called CC Live Brightness. Now when you flip your control center up at this tweak and start controlling your brightness, you see it, your uh, control center goes away and it allows you to actually increase and decrease your brightness without the control center being visible. So it's very handy and it doesn't show up very well on camera, but it does do an awesome job. The next one is called Transparent Volume 8. And what this does is it allows you to increase and decrease the opacity of your volume footprint and if we go in here to transparent volume 8 you see you can increase and decrease the opacity value here from 0 to 1 so if we got it up here you see you can sort of see it all the way up it's just like normal if you don't want to see it at all you can just turn it up and down and it'll just pretty much it'll just eliminate it completely but i think it might require a respring before it picks it back up Next one is called Always Green, and you see in the status bar up there the little green battery that's coming from that tweak, and that's, like, that's all it does. Normally that would be in black and white up there, but this just puts a little color in your status bar. I think it looks really cool. I don't know why Apple didn't do that to start with. third-party keyboards green. such as Swipe or any of those like that. I've got Swipe installed here. You know that whenever you input your passwords for anything that you have to use your Apple uh, keyboard and it would require that you switch back, you know, by going to your keyboard settings down here before you could actually input a password. Well, this tweak takes care of that by allowing you to go in here. Let me show you how it works. I'm going to sign into Amazon. I'm going to pretend to anyway. So here you see we got my swipe keyboard up. When we go into the password section, you see it automatically flips over to the uh, Apple keyboard. And if we go back to the other option, it, it, it just it flips us back. We don't have to do anything. It does it automatically for us. That's called All Board Pass. And that's a pretty cool tweak if you're a third-party third-party keyboard user then you definitely want to grab that next one is called more predict and what this does is it allows you to turn up the number of words that suggested words that you get let me uh, first of all turn this other keyboard off and you see here across the top here I have a lot more options and actually there's seven suggestions there and I, I preset that in the settings app. I'll show you how you do that. But you can even determine how much space to leave between the words, all kinds of stuff. So if we go into our settings and scroll down here to where it says More Predict, that's the name of this tweak. And right here you see the count seven. And then here's my predictions gap. You can increase and decrease that to whatever you want it to be. You can put whatever number you want in there. However, I would keep it reasonable. Uh, six would probably be better. So let's go back in here. Now you said we just got six. But what I like about this, if you go into landscape, it looks really nice. Whereas before, you had those only those three words suggested, and it didn't look that good. That's called more predict. The next one is a camera tweak. And if you enjoy using your camera then you're really going to like this tweak. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off of me. And what this does, it adds some more options, guys. And let me show you what it does. If I hold in one spot here, you see I get a number of different things first. First, I've got a zoom here, you know, which we've always had that. And let me put something on here that I can actually... Okay, there it was. All right, you saw the little, the little L that locks your uh, focus and then you can also increase and decrease 
your exposure by swiping up and down on the screen and you can do it in different spots it actually adds a lock for the exposure and a lock for the focus whereas you had to use a third party app to get that kind of those kind of options before that's called my bias I'll have those on the screen so don't worry the last one we're talking about is called Shadowboard. And what this does is it adds a shadow to all of your icons. And my wallpaper really isn't that good for this tweak. But if you go in here, I'm not, I don't think, you know, there wasn't any kind of settings or anything for it. So if we go down here to Shadowboard, and let's see what it looks in here okay you see that it says that it adds a shadow to every icon which moves with your phone giving it a cool parallax effect so right here's what it's supposed to look like you see the little icons there they have shadow effects and they do look that way apparently i just need a respring to make mine look the shadows appear so definitely one worth checking out guys that's about seven or eight awesome tweaks grab them i know you'll you'll like them let me know what you think about which day of the week you want to have this free day and i'll get it started uh keep in mind now on thursdays we do top uh ios apps free apps so it's thursdays so we don't want to do the same thing on that day so it's thursday and sunday's out because i do best tweaks on sundays both paid and, and free so we can add that free one in there, maybe Friday or whatever other day you prefer. Let me know. Hit that thumbs up, guys. That helps me so much when you thumbs up and favorite the videos. It really helps a great deal. And sharing them, too. If you would just start sharing my content, it would help me so much. And if you're not a subscriber, we want you to hit that big subscribe button and keep coming back.